everyone, welcome into Talking FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys and welcome here to Barcelona's tour of the United States of America for right here, our fourth match of pre-season, which will be coming against Napoli. It's Barcelona against Napoli here, coming live from Miami and right here and right now, it's the match preview with everything you need to know coming right up. Let's do this! Today's video will be coming to you courtesy of the one football app which you can find in the description down below if you want to stay up to date with everything right now that's happening on the transfer front and of course with the brand new season kicking off soon. And during our tour of the USA of course there will be no Lionel Messi in either of our games against Napoli after he picked up a slight calf injury which ruled him out of this particular tour but of course in these games there will still be an abundance of Barcelona talent that we're going to be looking at that will be on display. Let's sit back now and let's get ready to see it step up a level. That's what we need. Kickoff will be coming to us live from the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida, which holds there a capacity of 65,000 spectators. And I'm sure many of those will be excited there to see Barcelona come out and play. And I know many of you watching as well are going to be going to this game. So if you are going, certainly have a great time. And here right now, guys, for us around the world, we're going to be watching this on our TVs. These are the kickoff times right around the world with the game kicking off there in America during late evening, whereas in Barcelona, the kickoff will be coming at 1.30am and many of us around the world, we're going to have a pretty early start here to see this one, but hopefully it'll be worth it. And for the first time during our pre-season preparations so far, our opponents in Napoli aren't actually too far ahead of us in their preparations themselves. Napoli so far have played five pre-season games as opposed to our three pre-season games, but this match has certainly given us a nice idea of exactly where we're at right now. The level that we're playing at, the intensity of course that we'll need to show in this kind of game, we need to step it up and we need to kick on this week for me because against Chelsea of course we were starting there our pre-season preparations, we lost that game, but that game against Chelsea Chelsea was our first pre-season game and it was all about there gaining some fitness, getting back into the swing of things and really kicking on from there. Then our final game of the Asia Tour was against Vissel Kobe. We won that game of course by two goals to nil, two brilliantly taken goals by Carlos Perez. But again, that was an average display, it wasn't really a brilliant performance and we continued there to get that match fitness going. And then of course there was Arsenal at the Camp Nou on Sunday. We started that game really, really slowly, really poorly, poor in possession, slow in our play. We got better, certainly we got better there in the second half and of course we ended up winning that game thanks to a stunning goal from Luis Suarez but right here and right now in the United States this week we've got two games against the same opposition in Napoli we need more balanced performances we need a better Barcelona right now because we've got to get going we have to see this team now start pushing the limits start to really switch up that tempo and really get into the mode that we need to see at the start of the brand new season because yes right here and right now it's pre-season we know the players are not going to be pushing hard we know they're not going to be playing at their maximum level but we all know, as professional footballers, they can't just switch it on and off like a tap. You can't really go through pre-season with 0% effort, just sort of labour your way along. And then as soon as the season starts, suddenly switch that level then to 100%. doesn't work like that. You've got to work your way up gradually, game by game, really improving and certainly raising the level. And this week, we have to see progression. We have to see a better... Barcelona. And of course, guys, there's certainly going to be some debate here about what attacking trio or potentially duo we do see across our tour of the USA in the absence there of Lionel Messi, who exactly is going to step in there and fill in in that front three. But regardless of the combination for me that Valverde does choose, I think it's inevitable here that across these two games, at some stage, we are going to see Antoine Griezmann and Luis Suarez leading the line as a duo there. Whether it's there, along with maybe Dembele, maybe another winger, certainly starting there with the three of them in a attack but at some stage we are going to see Griezmann and Suarez playing together as a combination there and it's going to be fascinating to see the two of the players there two very different players I feel two players at different stages of their career but at the same time if they can strike up a partnership if they can strike up there an early combination that could really really help us of course in the season to come but it's not all about them there's certainly two other players in this team and that forward line that will be out there with a point to prove during our tour of the USA it's about two B team players they will get their chances it's Carlos Perez and Abel Ruiz because they could be playing here for a place next season in the first team squad in a backup role because both players right now have concrete offers from elsewhere to leave the club this summer but right now they put them on hold both of these players are liked by Valverde Valverde does like both of them that's why he's brought them on the tour to have a good look at them and they're going to be going head to head there who can perform the best who's going to get the chance in the team who's going to take that chance and certainly both of them arrive here with a real aim of proving the themselves to Valverde and potentially earning a place 
in the first team. And of course, for the first time this preseason, we are also going to be welcoming back those who played in Copa America, those who are arriving late back to the team after that tournament. We are going to see Felipe Coutinho and Arthur Melo here returning to the Barcelona team. I'm very, very excited to see Arthur Melo alongside the likes of Frankie de Jong and also Ricky Pucci in midfield. But with Coutinho, things are very, very different indeed. Still right now, the rumours are continuing. Arsenal has emerged as a potential destination for him this summer. With reports in France right now, very much contrasting. L'Equipe came out and basically said that Arsenal will be the destination for Coutinho. He'll join there on loan this summer. But immediately after that, there was another report there that came out once again from France with regard to this one. This saying, Coutinho is not going to Arsenal. So what I would say right now is Coutinho is certainly being lined up by a few clubs. Most likely it's going to be on a loan. Nobody is willing to pay over 100 million euros for him this summer. Potentially Coutinho there could leave on loan for a loan fee there. They're going to pay his wages, get him off the wage bill. Potentially in order to free up some funds for somebody to join. But Coutinho's future, even on this tour, it still is in the balance. He needs to play well because, of course, it's not just Barcelona. He could be playing here for a place in another team to attract interest there. It's in all of our interest that Coutinho has some good games on this tour. And certainly, there'll be lots to look out for during these games. And on that note here, I want to talk about a potential lineup. And not really, it doesn't have to be all together. This doesn't have to be the team. What I want to talk here about players who have something to prove right now on this preseason tour. Starting in goal there, Ter Stegen is the starting goalkeeper. Nothing to prove for him, but of course he always wants to play. He wants to get match fit. He's going to start the season there in goal for Barcelona. But then moving on, Junior Firpo then at left back. The first time we're going to see that man in a Barcelona shirt. A backup left back there for Jordi Alba. But of course, somebody with so much quality potentially in time, he could become the number one. Certainly going to be one to keep an eye on. You've got Samuel Antony there at centre-back. He's done well so far in preseason. It's important that we see him continually playing, not so Suffering any injury issues and just able to play these games without any problems. And of course, Tadebo, who's developing well, looking good, and is going to start the season as part of the first team squad there as depth at centre back. And of course, Musa Wage, now a first team player. He's on this tour as a first team player. He's going to be back up here for Nelson Semedo, but I want to see him on this tour of America, given some opportunities, given some time there at right back to see what he can do. Then in midfield, the return of Arthur Mello really does make it exciting for me. You've got Frankie Dion here holding in midfield. Ricky Pooch has been stunning. stunning so far on preseason, He's been absolutely brilliant in that role in midfield. And alongside Arthur Mello, him returning there, alongside De Jong, alongside Pooch, that's exciting there. A real technically gifted midfield, so comfortable with the ball at their feet, so comfortable in their movement with the ball as well. Very, very exciting there. If we could line up at some stage with that trio. And then, of course, you're talking about the forwards. You're talking about Antoine Griezmann. You're talking about Suarez playing together. Dembele, for me, has to step it up along with the team. Dembele himself knows that he can do better. He knows that he can give more. And I do believe we are going to see more from him. Hopefully this week we can see the very, very best of Dembele's talents. And of course you've got Suarez here playing as the number nine. Scored a brilliant goal, a fantastic goal there against Arsenal. He's going to be looking there to kick on from that. Keep going there, keep the confidence flowing and also staying in good shape. Then you've got Griezmann. If Suarez does start here as the centre forward, Griezmann may start from the left, but of course he's not going to stay there. They may at times become a two, potentially then you go to a midfield four, maybe Valverde will play it that way, but also they can play as a trio. They can make it there so that they're interchangeable. At times Dembele Belly, may swap wings, maybe Griezmann there will come over again and be a bit more inverted. You've got a lot of options there with that front three, with Suarez, of course, being the vocal point, but Griezmann is good enough on the ball, he's technically good enough, he's also very, very intelligent, that he can make the right runs, he can make the right movements to actually there supply Suarez with chances, but also be a goal threat himself, and especially there in the absence of Messi, we're going to need somebody to be dropping in, to be linking their midfield and attack, then Belly can do that as well, and certainly then, without Messi, when things look bleak, when we look void there of creating creativity and star quality. It's nice now to have somebody like Antoine Griezmann, a top, top quality player who can come in there and give us so much quality there in the final third. And I think certainly, although of course we'd have loved to have seen Lionel Messi on this tour of America, it's nice actually to see this team without Messi for a moment to see what we can do. Because of course, you know that when Messi's there, we're going to rely on him. We're going to base everything around him. And that's absolutely right. You certainly want to do that with Messi. But of course, when he's not there, the other players have to take on that responsibility. They've got to rise to the occasion. They've got to show what they can do, and that's what we have to see. We have to see the dependence on Messi ease this season. He can't always be expected to do everything in this team. You've got to see Griezmann contribute. You've got to see Dembele contribute. You've got to see Suarez contributing there in the final third. And hopefully on this preseason tour, both games against Napoli, we have to see, like I said before, a better 
Barcelona. And so that there, guys, brings us to an end in this match preview. I hope that you enjoyed it, of course. And if you are going to tomorrow's game, like I say, do enjoy yourselves. I hope you have a great time and I hope that Barcelona perform at their best for you guys. Please leave your thoughts in the comments down below. What would you like to see from this game? Who would you like to see playing in the lineup from Valverde? What are you excited about? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, I'll be right here after the game, even though it's in the early hours. I'll be here with a match review. Thanks as always, guys. Your support is incredible. I'll be back soon. But until next time, as always, Vesca El Barca. Oh.